Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Big Nine Wonders. I welcome you once again in this new episode about mountain gorillas. My name is Tarsis. If it is your first time to watch our videos. But if you have been watching, I thank you so much. And I tell you that we have more content that we hope that you can enjoy. Today, as I've told you, we shall bring you the information about mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas in Uganda especially. Mountain gorillas, they live in three countries. In Uganda, in Rwanda, and in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They live in these countries because they, three countries, they share Virunga mountains. These mountain gorillas live in Virunga mountains, in Rwanda, in Virunga mountains, in, in Uganda, in Virunga mountains, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and also in the Wind Impenetrable Forest National Park, which is in Uganda. So those are the only places where you can find mountain gorillas. If you are planning to have a mountain gorilla trekking safari, Uganda is the best destination for this. Why? Because Uganda has the 54% of the total population of these mountain gorillas. Isn't it so amazing? Especially when you come to uh, Bindi Impenetrable Forest National Park. You, uh, gorilla trekking is an amazing experience where you will have one hour uh, with the gorillas in their natural habitats. Remember these uh, gorillas, they are habituated. So uh, habituation of gorilla, it means that they are trained uh, to, to get, they are trained to be used to the presence of human beings. This habituation takes around two years. After three years, these gorillas they are they are comfortable with the presence of human beings that means that even in the presence of humans they will not change their behaviors so it's an amazing experience when you come for gorilla trekking by the way in uganda you can also participate in gorilla habituation because there are some families which have not yet got used to human beings and they are undergoing gorilla habituation process and you can also come and be part of it but gorilla trekking is an amazing experience that no one should miss, and especially in Uganda. Also, you should not forget that mountain gorillas just make their sleeping nest every day. Every day it has to make, they have to make new uh, sleeping nests. They can never sleep in a bed. In this, in this context, you can call it a bed. They can never sleep in a bed for two days. Every day they have to change. They have to change uh, the bed where they sleep. Then you should also know that uh, gorillas, just like humans, they live in families. Actually, in stable families. They live in stable families and uh, they can be in a family of uh, even if 20, 25, uh, 15 just like that. There is no specific number of the mountain gorillas. They can be uh, of any number, but they are in stable families. In this family, they are headed by one silverback. The silverback is the head of the family, and the name silverback, it's because of the hair that grows at the back, at the back of it. And this hair also comes with age. So this is strong silverback is the head of the family, and is an indisputable leader, is the one to decide how the family should run. For example, where they have to go for food, uh, for where they have to go for rest, the direction is to take, all that is done, is decided by the silver bar. Uh, you should also know that gorillas, just like human beings, they also have emotions. They can be happy and laugh, you know, they can even cry when they are hurt. So they are like human beings. Uh, don't forget that mountain gorillas, they are born weighing around 2 kilograms. The baby are weighing around 2 kilograms. So uh, they are not like human beings in terms of size. When they are born, they are a bit smaller. But after growing up, they become bigger and uh, larger than uh, human beings. They can weigh up to even 20, uh, 200 kilograms. That is the mountain gorilla. Uh, you also have uh, to remember that mountain gorillas, they live in the kind of cohesive life. They live in a cohesive life 
where the head of the family is the silverback. And also, in case there is a disagreement among the, the silverbacks who should be the leader, sometimes they, others, they can depart away from uh, the, the family. They can, they can leave the family. But it is so challenging because when the gorilla leaves the family, it can join another one or they can come together and form one family or join an organized family. But this process can take even up to five years, you can imagine. It can take up to five years for the gorilla to establish a stable family. So that's why once it is established, it remains a stable family. When you come to Uganda for gorilla trekking, you can enjoy all this by seeing it physically. Because there are many uh, gorilla families that you can, you can see in Uganda. All of the five sectors, you can see around 14, uh, 15 gorilla families. And I hope you can have a very uh, great experience with these gorillas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have enjoyed our content. I ask you once again to subscribe to our channel so that you can see more of our videos. Thank you so much.